Hello and welcome to the Capricorn reading. Um, the first layer of cards that I will be shuffling will be in fast forward. Um, then I will come on, read the cards, and do some clarifying. Um, I may possibly pull a rune and a charm as well. Uh, the only thing that I say usually when, we, when I start the readings is that the readings or the messages tend to change and get more clear as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. Wow, okay, Capricorn. So normally your first layer is nine cards. Um, and normally if there are more th or three, or three, more than three cards that come out, then I put them back. However, I accepted these because I didn't realize there was one under there. This one was face up, these were face down. So I thought about um, just keeping those face down, putting them in the deck, but it was just three that I thought, and then there was one more after. Um, and then it happened again over here as far as getting four cards to read together here and here. Um, I do see what's going on, so we're going to go ahead with your reading. Under the deck, we have the Magician card. Um, so during this time you have all the resources that you need to make whatever it is you're trying to happen this new thing happen you have all the resources um, this is a manifestation card as well um, so it doesn't have to be you're manifesting something it can be just letting you know from the universe that you have what you need or you have what it takes sort of thing um, it looks like you're going for something new. Um, and maybe you're trying to do something traditional and have something be long lasting. Um, we have the Hierophant card. Maybe you're learning um, a new trade, something to that effect. We do have the Strength card. Um, I wasn't sure which way that was wanting me to pick it up because um, it was flipping out and it was sideways. Um, so what I really should have done was just had it kind of sideways here. Um, the strength card is um, generally when we're shedding our ego. Um, so that might be kind of a thing that is going on right now where, you know, maybe you're looking for a new job and you're having to kind of learn something new. Then we have the fool card here where um, this is the universe letting you know that you can go ahead comfortably and do a trust fall. You know, even if you're not sure of what the outcome is going to be, um, when we get the Fool card, it's kind of letting us know that this is our path, um, that this is our journey that we're supposed to be taking, and that all is well. Um, it does show down here that things could be completely starting over um, with the Tower and then having this worry, you know, with the Nine of Swords it usually is, un or it always is unnecessary worry. Um, we're, I'm excessively worrying about, um, am I doing the right thing? Um, what, what if I don't get the job? You know, whatever it is, it's kind of unnecessary worry because then we have the Six of Pentacles, which is talking about um, an equal give and take, so to speak. Um, you're finances will become balanced again. You might even have excess or overflow to where you can help others or things of that nature um, to maybe build your happily ever after here with the Ten of Cups. We are going to clarify these. I just want to get through the first layer of cards. Um, so the heart of the reading could be, you know, having, having that strength and not letting it chip at your ego, so to speak, to do this new thing. Um, maybe 
there's an entrepreneurial side to it. You know, maybe you're having to learn something new in a sense because you're going out on your own, you know, having your starting your own business. Um, so under the heart of the reading, we have the very center is <laughs> um, an open heart chakra. This is the Six of Cups. It's kind of one of the most healthiest cards in the deck. So having that right in the center is beautiful. Um, this is showing that um, you're not coming from this in a negative aspect. You're not going to let it hurt your ego. You're um, coming um, at this from a king standpoint as well. So it's showing a very healthy and that probably is why the magician is coming out because you're in that level of you have all the resources to make this happen. Um, the Six of Cups always shows children. So, um, you know, when we're kids, if someone says, I love you, you say, I love you to a child. They're like, I know, you know, they're not questioning it. They're not a jaded adult. You know, you say that to an adult, they're going to question, why is this person saying it? Yeah, you know, um, so this is kind of like being at a healthy state where you're not questioning things. Um, emotional. emotional contentment, I guess I want to say. Um, so this might be something that you're going to do something and jump into something new that brings you emotional fulfillment, even. Um, with the tower of that suggests, um, you know, with the tower card, we have the Hebrew Yods, and these are represent like a download. When we're going through the tower moment, um, we're, I guess you, I'd want to say like subconsciously in a sense, downloading and healing and going through, um, the certain things that we're supposed to go through and to have a six here and a six here, kind of like book ending these two. And then we have the Ten of Cups. That's showing me that the Tower moment is one of those moments where what wasn't meant for you had to come down. You know, maybe you lost a job and, and you know, maybe at this time hearing this actual reading, you're worried, um, have an anxiety, um, not understanding why this had to happen. And once things kind of play out, then you'll realize that this is, this was all for a reason. Um, it's to bring in something that is more balanced and meant for you. And those are the tower moments. That's why I like the tower card because in a sense, it's always taking something away or crumbling something. Um, for the most part, not, I mean, not always, there can be, you know, tragic things that happen in our lives, but the, the tower card usually is about, you know, this download that we need to receive, something crumbling down, so it can be rebuilt um, for what is meant for us. And then we go down here where we have two major arcanas. bookend by more fire energy. So we have the King of Wands. You're definitely coming in with a lot of fire going on here. Um, and then here as well. Um, I feel like when we have the Wheel of Fortune card, sometimes we're down here and things aren't going very great. And then we end up back on top um, where things are kind of moving in our favor, um, but I feel like when we have the hanged man, things really aren't moving. Um, we're getting a new perspective on things. This is the card that came out um, that way. This card was, I think these two were upside down, 
and then this one flipped up in the deck. Okay, so this is the main card. This is the one that flipped up in the deck, and then these as well. So I feel like when it comes to gaining a new perspective, I'm my my eye is really drawn to the fact that he's going this way. Um, and this way would be maybe needing to defend ourselves or needing to fight for something. And then you're getting a new perspective on things. Like things aren't really moving this way. It's like if it's, it shouldn't be that hard. It, maybe it's that hard because of, that's not what's meant for you, you know? Um, it's almost like if he goes backwards, he's going to have to keep fighting and things are going to be harder. Um, we're getting a new perspective on things and then things start moving again. I do want to clarify this in a moment, but I want to come over here. Um, then we have these two cards that came out together, the Two of Cups with the Six of Wands. You have Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Six of Wands. Um, the only card you don't have is the Six of Swords. All of them, all of the six in the tarot are the balanced, they're all a positive card. This is, talks about success, victory, and public recognition. Um, and then there is a Two of Cups here. Um, talks about a a mutual partnership, so to speak. So this could be victory and success when it comes to maybe it's a great partnership some you know the job that you end up getting it's a, it's a great fit for you um, or this could be you know maybe an engagement that becomes public we do need to clarify and um, I do I do want to point out as well that when this when these came out under the deck, I showed it for a while, so even though it's in fast forward, that you would be able to see that under the deck was the Ace of Pentacles. And then it came up again here. So the Ace of Pentacles is this new thing that is coming in. It could be that new job, a new home, a new career, a new anything, you know, the, a new car. I, I, I don't know if I were repeating myself here. Um, so I feel like when we have the magician under the deck, that's letting us know that we have everything, all the resources, you know, now things can start moving and getting better and we can make this happen. So meaning it's the right time to start looking for a job because we have, you know, the right um, credentials or whatever it is. Um, however that I, I keep feeling a new job with this for some reason. Um, and I think that ending on the five of pentacles, you could feel like, um, you know, if it is about a new job feeling, you know, having that worry of when is money going to come in again, things like that. Um, cause this is a card of lack. Um, loss of money and it can also be a card of abandonment where you feel out in the cold maybe someone has ghosted you that sort of thing um, or feeling abandoned and alone out in the cold um, so let's clarify I'm trying to think of what, should I, what do I want to clarify first. I think I might just go straight to the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, 
the temperance. So temperance is about patience. Um, if you do notice, this is a symbol for the sun. Um, all of the planets and um, things have a symbol. This is um, letting us know that with the temperance card, that we can see the bigger picture, having that sun, that clarity. Um, the temperance card is also about healing, tempering out, um, tempering out the bad, kind of, you know, when we're tempering out the impurities is what I'm trying to say. Um, everything in moderation. Let's see what's under the deck. Wow. <laughs> Ten of Cups again. So, yeah, there is. this is not representing, and if it is, like a, where you're feeling alone or abandoned, um, that will be, you know, just have patience and that will um, definitely be not the case very soon. Um, Misha, I can't hold you, honey. I'm doing a reading. My little puppy's crying. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like you're building your... This is like a, a huge... With the fool, this is like a huge life turning point. Because um, you're going for your happily ever after. I can't hold you, baby. Um, let's see. So let's clarify the Two of Cups and, whoa. Justice. Something very balanced. You know, we have the Two of Cups here. And then justice, but then I talked about engagement as well, like something becoming public with the two people. And this can talk about legal, oh wow, and there's um, the Ace of Swords. And these are those downloads I was talking about. Come here. Let me try to hold you on my lap. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? So, and this talks, oh wow, and there's that one. This was the one that was under the deck um, when we had here and here. Um, this could talk about clarity on something coming out, the truth coming out about something, and then we have, you know, the justice card as well. So there could be victory when it comes to like a truth coming out something like that. I Maybe I shouldn't be clarifying this backwards because then now we're not getting the story. What are you doing, baby? Okay. Um, let's clarify this grouping right here. Mishi, I can't do this and hold you. Ooh, the death card. Wow. So, yeah, the tower, you know, something with the death card. This is about something that is not meant, you know, something that is no longer serving you. Ending. It's an ending or, you know, the death of something in your life. And then, as you can see, the sun is rising. And then we have the white flower representing this new beautiful thing. So, yes, that's definitely... Um, something, what do we have under here? And wands, queen of wands. There's a lot of fire or wand energy. Um, so this might be, um, you might have a lot of fire in your chart or you, you know, if you're the partnership here, maybe that is a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, 
Um, but with the Queen of Wands being under here, her characteristics are talking about having courage, um, being confident, all of that. So having the King of Wands here and the Queen of Wands here, when we talk about the King and the Queen in tarot, the Queens are how we perceive what is going on. Um, we using our intuition and how we perceive the world around us and the kings are how we act it out in the 3d so with this with her being here and him being here before this huge incident um, or this event that's going on and then we have these downloads going on it's like you're acting it out and then you're perceiving it you're gaining that download that you need and then we have this beautiful growth that happens so if you are if there is an abrupt moment going on or a sudden change um, and you're finding yourself having anxiety um, and unnecessary worry, know that it is unnecessary worry because everything is going to be okay. Um, everything's going to be actually very better than it was before. So it's all happening kind of for a reason here. Um, Let's go ahead down here. And I'm just realizing now I never did pull a rune or a charm. Um, I think I will just do like a oracle card or a crystal card to close this out once we are complete with the tarot. All right, so here is that Ace of Swords again with the download that's coming in. So definitely clarity. You know, when you see this hanged man here, he's getting a new perspective so you can see his crown. It, you know, you're seeing the bigger picture. You're seeing how to make more money or get yourself out of this situation. Um, you're... Let's see what's under the deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this is all for, you're seeing what you have to do to build your happily ever after, um, to build your legacy. You know, this is fine, not only financially, but romantically. So for some of you, um, I mean, and I don't, necessarily know if I always want to do the for some of you this for some of you that I think it's more so if you're if you are already married then this means that this could bring in less stress this change you know somebody's realizing something or whatever it is to where you're gonna have more closeness in your relationship you know we have this justice card um, or maybe you're in a relationship with someone, long-term relationship, and you're finally going to um, make it legal, you know. Um, I feel like if you are married or in a relationship, things are going to um, grow a lot. And um, it might be a little crazy right here. It might feel a little... But we do have this healed an open heart chakra so I think it's just like this beautiful where maybe you are even realizing like you can see what's on the other side you know we definitely can see the bigger picture here and we're definitely seeing clarity here so there might just be this moment of where we're worrying a little bit too much or we're feeling like um, what if this doesn't all work out? Because when you have that fool card, you're not so much in your worries. You're not so much like, oh my gosh, you're, it's more so like you're, you're getting all these signs and signals and feeling like this, this is set, definitely something that I feel like I just have to do. And I know that every, it's like this inner knowing of knowing that everything's going to work out. So we first have the strength card and then we go on into the fool card of this leap of faith. Um, I 
All right, so I think to wrap it up, it's more so you're either maybe learning a new skill or trying to do something more traditional in a sense of, you know, maybe you, I don't know, for some reason I'm wanting to say maybe you have, been working for yourself and that has been too stressful and too lack so you're trying to go back back more traditional where you're working for someone else and letting them deal with the stress and you're going for you know your nine to five or maybe you're learning a new skill to up your pay or maybe it's the other way around where you're sick of working for the man and you're going to you want to open your own thing um, whatever it is it's going to um, emotionally fulfill you in a sense it will be more fulfilling it won't be so um, blah you know um, and it isn't just kind of you know what you're hoping or wishing for or trying to manifest it's actually what is meant for you um, what's meant for your ha happily ever after it's going to bring in balance a lot of balance we've got all the six or almost all the sixes here um, I feel like you've been having to fight for everything that you've gotten, having to defend yourself, and you keep maybe going around and around. Like, um, you know, is this like a karmic thing? Like, why do I have to keep doing this? And then all of a sudden, you have this clarity of, wait a minute, you're getting this download, you're, you know, looking at it from a different perspective, and you are able to finally get this karmic wheel to turn off of this I'm sick of fighting for everything you know this is doesn't have to be this hard sort of thing and you find this perfect match um, or maybe you didn't find it however um, it's like It could be a partnership. It could be, you know, the perfect match um, as far as your career for yourself. Um, it could be a more um, mutual or equal. Um, things can be more mutual. Maybe you're feeling like maybe you're worried over here because your partner's bringing in money and you're not at the time or something. So then things become mutual. Um, And then we have this victory, success, public recognition, and then clarifying both of these with the justice card. So there's that sort of truth again. Here's the scales of balance. Something is going to be a lot more balanced and successful um, once this wheel is turning. So this is definitely a necessary change. And there's healing from what you have gone through, whether it's um, feeling abandoned, whether it's, um, you know, loss of money, um, just, it's, I mean, my goodness, we have, under the deck here, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and then we have the Magician card, and then we had two Ten of Cups come up. Um, absolutely big changes like beautiful big changes I love it when a, a reading starts out with the fool because the fool means it's it's what you're meant to do it's like you know you have this knowing of I don't know why I just feel like it's all gonna work out like you know maybe this is stupid but I feel like I have to do this sort of feeling it's that trust fall with the universe where you, for some reason, know that this is what you have to be doing and you're not taking a bunch of baggage in with you. As you can see, it's just this tiny little, and we have this pure flower. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful energy to go into something new. You know, we've got the growth here on the king of wands, on his wand, and then we have this beautiful healed um, open heart chakra. Um just this balanced emotional state of being right in the center oh my goodness <laughs> all right let's go ahead let's 
try to get one of these out. If you could pick a, a, a crystal for this center card right here, it would be rose quartz. Um, it's that heart healing uh, crystal. It says, take care of your heart. Um, rose quartz is love in rock form. Who needs it? Overly self-critical sentient spiritual beings who love deeply those in the healing arts or those who want to be it says when to use it when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out to work the hardest to hold it all together for everyone else let me read that again <laughs> when you feel like you have to always have when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out or to be the one that has to work the hardest to hold it all together for everyone else, Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet, and open to spirit. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. All right, so this feeling of lack. I mean, this card is straight above it. Um, your luck is changing here and you're doing it because you're doing the work. Things are going to balance out and you're going to have success. And you're not going to be alone doing it. Um, whether you're partnering up, whether you're getting a roommate, whether you're, you know, going into business with someone, whether it's romantic. Um, I mean, this doesn't have to be a business partner. This can be romantic, but I just don't like doing all the readings completely, I guess, honed in on, you know, oh, you're going to find your soulmate kind of thing, you know. A lot of us are in relationships or married, and we're trying to find out answers to other things and not just relationships. So we have, um, you're not going to be alone doing this. Um, there is healing. So just have patience and clarity and change is coming. You have all the resources that you need. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, love yourself. Take care of yourself. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close, close this out. Thank you so very much, and I'll catch you again in the next one.